Hey guys, welcome back to the Diecast Muscle 118. And today, well, before you know, we get into this cool looking Mopar of from ERTL, um, I was gonna redo the review for that GMP 1970 Plymouth GTX from G or you know, the custom version of. You know what, I'm just going to redo it, because it was crap, and I figure why not get a better version of the video out. So, there, I made up my mind. The re, the re-review of the GMP GTX will be out soon. Anyways, let's get into this 69 version of the car. Now, the paint, and I don't even know what this paint color is, to be honest. Um, it is a tannish brownish color now people can say it looks like shit sorry you know poop poop color and they might be right but you know what uh, it looks like my uncle's car so I had to get it for twenty dollars from a car show anyway let's get into even though the hood opens god that's there. Yeah, now I'm not sure why it does that. Maybe the hinge is messed up or something, but doors open. But no trunk. Um there's the interior. Nicely done for the cheap version. Here's the side. Um, these are very nicely done wheels, the red line tire with the old school chrome Mopar style hubcaps or rims. Oh yes, it is missing a windshield wiper. I did not do that. I got it like that from, you know, as you can see, the grill is, or not grill. But yeah, the grill is actually nicely done. It's in black with a little red pinstriping. Chrome's nice. You know, these turk signals right here are, are actually plastic pieces. They're not painted, which is actually really good. No pegs in the headlights. And turk signals. Ugh, God, I butchered that. <laughs> Yes, we are going to the side. There is simulated chrome painting right here. Now these are the reflectors are painted. Nicely done back end. Nice chrome exhaust pipes, but maybe I should put a little bit black in here. Custom plate. Now this will be a short video since I already did kind of review on it in the head to head. The engine's turn. 440. Battery. Hose. You know everything where it needs to be somewhat now the underbelly plain Jane and bland nothing to really go on but it is raised from the bottom which is always good and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, please like comment and subscribe thanks bye